This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valdemar back here with another episode of Deathmark, possibly the finale. And the reason I say that is because I don't know how long the finale is going to be, and there's, well, I'll, I'll, say, I'll say more about it when I actually get to it. But in the last episode, we defeated the Canaan soldier, but not at the cost of Hiru's life. And I guess we failed in this reality as well, and I guess we just can't help it. We, someone has to die, apparently. There was no other choice we could have done, right? Anyway, it looks like uh, we've been told a great bombshell that uh, that the old man was uh, was with us ten years ago, or not ten years ago, five years ago and ten days ago. So he knows a bit more about us, and we're going to get the rest of the information out of him. But it sounds like the pieces of the puzzle are slowly falling into place. I hope the mansion's out of the way. Banshee clambers into the back seat of the car. His heavy scent fills the enclosed space. Uh, I can finally catch my breath. Now the driver, take us to the forest by H. Castle. Driver, yes, Miss Daisy. Cost me forever since I've referenced that movie. Got memories. I drive down the familiar road. All lights along the way are strangely green. We reach our destination without me having to slow down the car once. The engine chugs along. I feel the wheels of fate turning like those on the car I'm riding in. Days ago, I promised in exchange for you buying me an extra order of almond jelly. You did forget everything. I take you to the H shrine. Sounds like I'm prepared for everything. I must have been a total smarty. But if I was that careful, why didn't I leave myself a clue? I'm a raging clue. Why prepare if I was just gonna forget? Did the curse progress faster than expected so there wasn't time? Or did someone get rid of it? But if I had business at H shrine. Why didn't I go there while I still had my memories? Something about timing. Waiting for some magic summer cleaning to clear away impurity. Summer cleaning. Like exclamation point. Suddenly my old self echoes in my head. I speak the words out loud slowly as realization dawns. Summer purification rites. Their rites held at shrines to exercise evil. On the last days of June, you pass through movement through woven reeds to cleanse yourself. I was trying to use the ritual to exercise the impurity. Ah, uh, gotcha. Luckily, well, today's the 1st of July, so the rites or whatever are done. Should be no problem now. Exercise the impurity, huh? What kind of impurity was I trying to cleanse? The sin of man. The firstborn, or whatever. Uh, depending on which religion you believe in, a lot of people, some religions believe you're born, born with sin. Anyway, the more I learn, the less I understand. My previous self was like a complete stranger to me. Kind of reminds me of a, of a, of kind of a quandary in the Tales of the Abyss game. That was a good game. You know, I bought the 3DS version of it for some reason. I still haven't played that version of it. Not that it's much different, but how many times have I come to this forest now? Had a bee person there, then, you know, the creepy, the creepy arch and thick trees look the same as always. You know, we had to deal with the bee person, and then we had to deal with the uh, the mannequins in the forest. You know where a shrine is, yeah. Lead the way. You've never been there? First I heard of it was ten days ago. Straight to there. Yeah, no reason to. Banshee and I pull through the vegetation and make our way down the beast trail. We pass under the stone Tory gate. And finally arrive at the desolate H shrine. A few headless buddy Buddha statues there are left sh are left shine in the light of the uh, that are left shine in the light of the flashlight. Bleh, what's wrong with me? So the statues used in the project were stolen from here? Yeah, that's right. Is it really true that statues are connected to the mark somehow? Dot dot dot. I've considered, or I've considered the possibility that the mark was caused by their divine wrath, but ten days ago. You said, uh, sorry. You said what happened fifty years ago wasn't because of the project. It was all because of her. This course I've been following this whole time. Then at some point, I had to have been fed some huge lie. Who it could be? A shudder, a shudder runs through me at the thought. It feels like I'm looking into the depths of hell. 
Sanders said 10 days ago that, that altar holds something important. Something about needing to keep it here to exercise impurity. He approaches the small altar and puts his hand on the sliding door. Oh. What's going on here? That thing's empty. Don't ask me. It was already gone when I got, was here earlier. Oh, that's darn weird. You said there was a cloth pouch? What was inside? A small fist-sized statue. A ninja bootsu or something. It was the goat shintai for the shrine. The Kujo head used it in the shelter to stop the mess 50 years ago. And again, it's the Kujo family. They must have strong ties to the mark. Well, that's about all I can do for you. At least it was enough to pay off the dearest, uh, dessert. Dearest. We should head back, son. Right. I'm still unsure of what my old self was thinking, but it's clear whatever plan I had didn't work. Where did the ninja bit the boots go? Hmm. I wonder. On the way back, I feel reluctant to go. I keep turning to look towards the shrine. Each time I do, Banshee hurries me on to the forest entrance. Well, this is where we part ways. You're not going to ride back with me? I'm going to be honest with you. I got a bit car sick on the way there here. The flat roads are fine, but the curves and hills did me in. I just got a nice meal and I hate to throw it up, so I'll walk back. Well, you must have some strong legs to do. But it's pretty far from here. You guys are such wimp these days. Ain't that the truth. When I was young, I used to walk across the Himalayas all the time. You just walked 15 hills up uphill in the snow without any shoes. We liked it. This ain't nothing. Ah. Oh, bye, Banshee. His laugh is loud enough for the whole forest here. He waves and leaves me alone. Bye. Once he's outside again to the car. Let's solve some answers, but still left many open. Well, back to the mansion, I guess. We stole this mark and everything, so... So we're still not out of the woods yet. Pull out of the desert parking lot and drive back to the mansion. As I count the street lights passing by, I go over everything Banshee told me. Fifty years ago in the shelter, a cannon soldier went berserk, but it wasn't because of the army's experiments, it was her. The army was unable to stand up to the threat of her and the soldier. The Kujo family uh, had used the ninja bootsu to settle everything. However, she still exists in this time period. She was the one who gave me my mark. Before I lost my memories, I was planning on using the ninja bootsu like they did before. I left it at the h and show it could be cleansed of its impurity. But somewhere along the line, it went missing. Past me probably couldn't have predicted that would happen. I'm almost back at Kujo Mansion. As my drive comes to an end, I focus on what the most important detail is. That's right, who she is. She is. I have a hunch about her identity, but I can't be sure yet. And that definitely proves that she was there. She was there. Fifty years ago, she made the kind of soldier move down into the shelter. The Kudra family's head sealed her. They would have brought her to the mansion. The sacred objects for the project of which she was Rip the steering wheel tighter. If there were any way to defeat her, it just has to be in the mansion. I don't have any solid proof, but fragments of my memories are whispering to me. Sounds like we're, we're on the cusp of, of the, the final bit of information we need. Just one more, just one more push, one more actualization. The entrance doesn't look any different. The mark burns. Sharp pain bring, nearly brings me to my knees. It seems she has no intention of hiding her presence any longer. The UFO was added to the spirit ball in pursuit of the truth. Well, I know what we need to do now, but let's check the bag for that. 
pursuit of the truth. The last time I saw Banshee, I told him that I had completely forgotten everything he should that he should take me to H Shrine. He says I waited to recover some Ninji Ninji Butsu thing that was here. And when we arrived, the Ninji Butsu was oddly missing. All the effort I went through to prevent the mark from other having was wasted. But I feel like I'm getting closer to the truth. I've been pursuing I've been pursuing. I've defeated five spirits now since the first came to Kuju Mansion, and none were the ones that gave me my mark. So where exactly this she that I need to face. My old self knew and prepared something to help with me with my no memory. Then there must be a way to stop her. Don't be afraid. I have to trust in myself. Well, who else do we know that could have caused all this? Who's the only connection to all of this? Mary. So we meet again. Mary's voice is soft. I know now. Behind those words is hidden an intense lust for blood. Well, this is uh, this is awkward. You came back to life rather quickly. You gave me nearly a whole day, more than enough time. I admit that Rabbit's attack surprised me. But unexpected events can themselves be rather enjoyable. When I had brought Mary to H Shrine, we caught sight of the rabbit there. You might have suspected Mary's true nature. That rabbit. Its great love for you pushed it into recklessness. Hmm. What was that ra th that rabbit really? Determine that for yourself. Who are you? Know that and the answer will come. Though it is impossible so long as you bear the mark I gave you. Dun dun dun. Mary gave me the mark. I had a, he I had a hunch, but hearing it from her lips fills me with dread. Just what are you trying to accomplish? Dragging the living to the depths of despair before killing them. Kind of reminds me of of of, uh, um, of Pennywise the Clown from It. The same thing, except it was, he, uh, he drew his power on fear. So we had to uh, um, scare the crap out of the scare the crap out of the kids or whatever. So I have, I believe I explained that it is a spirit's utmost desire and joy, and I had your cooperation with achieving that. Cooperate? That's ridiculous. Oh, have you not realized yet? You did bring those pathetic mark bearers directly to the spirits, did you not? They feared the spirit's existence, trembled in the face of death, the brief joy of their survival only to be crushed like miserable ants. I savored the taste of that fear and despair, most delicious. You had all this help out, just to terrify the mark bearers even more? Clearly. I could have waited for the curses to complete if I only wanted them dead. That is not the only lie. The mark bearers must stay in a small group, do not contact outsiders. That was kind of dumb that they had to stay together. It's like, that doesn't make sense. All my instructions were to drive you into a state of emergency. And not once did you doubt me. Well, I did, but, you know, I doubt anything that's a small girl and a doll. I bet she's telling me all this because she wants me terrified with how hopeless the situation I find myself in. I'm frozen in place. I know my face must be as pale as death. She must be loving this. Dead and loving it. Don't tell me you created all those spirits. Just to accomplish that. Indeed. When Lady Christie believed divine wrath was the cause of the mark, I had never been more amused. Her foolishness was so delightful, I just had to come along with you. So you lied. Of course. How could I pile a broke uh, how could I pile a broken statues possibly do anything? I could imagine it, but or I could be imagining it, but I feel like she's hesitated for a moment there. Fifty years ago, I was sealed away by the head of the Kujo family. I awoke here five years ago. At the time, I was still unable to speak and communicate, but it seems my awakening alone caused a number of ripples. Those who died unfortunate deaths on cursed land became monstrous spirits. H. Elementary abuse. 
Sydney be mass suicide, Seiko's assault and suicide. It all happened five years ago. I finally regained my full power a little over a month ago, when the Buddha statue connected to, to me 50 years ago began moving. The woman killed by the statue was also influenced by my power. That must be the candid soldier in Tsukawa. Tsukawa believed it was divine oracle from the soldier when it really had been married. She did as the great Osura said and transferred herself into Mrs. Zoo. Once my strength returned, I again bestowed my power on spirits. It connects humans to me and manipulates them into a panic. The mark. I know you've been toying with us, but, well, is there really a need to make us be connected to you in some way? Of course. By being in her direct contact with you, I could taste your fear. It is like Pennywise a clown. E even now, are you scared of me for the turn deck? Yes, no, stay silent. So you are terrified to the extent that it steals your speech. Does it make you happy? Does it make you sad? What the? Her porcelain face cracks. Ever since you declared that you would fight the mark, I have waited eagerly for this day. Uh oh. Over the past ten days, I have tasted your fear through the mark. Thick and syrupy, as sweet as honey. Each savored morsel made me want to smash you to pieces. But I waited. I am not so foolish as to kill a goose that lays golden eggs. You, you got a some, little something on your on your face there. You, you got you got okay. Ah 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 ah! But I can't not take it any more. Like crushing a ripe fruit and sipping its juices. I want to break you down and savor your sweet fear. Da. Well, that's not good. That's a little creepy. I died. In Mark died in crimp steep crimson. Sunrise, a few minutes left until death closes in. Where'd you go, Mary? My thoughts blur together suddenly. What happened to Mark Bear's right before dawn? I've seen it many times before. Is that what's happening to me now? Lord, Lord, Lord Adderdag, wait for me. I kill, kill, kill. Kill, 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 exterminate, exterminate! I can hear Mary stand up over by the sofa. At this rate, the rabbit's fate will be mine, too. I have to run away. The final live or die? No. Uh, Jack within the red in my room! Or was it something? Something whispers in my ear. Something whispers in my ear. It's right, the voice. Oh, I did the wrong voice. What does my room mean? Focus. Who does that voice belong to? Who does number two work for? Suka said she said it was someone who loved me. Loved me. Yeah, the final live or die. Live or die. The final the final chapter. Mary's coming closer. Where should I run? And where should I run? My room? MK's room? Well, the obvious choice, Saya's room. If you haven't already figured it out, folks, you will hear in a second what the what the twist is. Well, other than the Mary twist. I sprint at full speed up to the stairs and fly into Saya's room. Shit. Much like the entrance hall, it's dark. The voice said, check within the red in my room. Is something there? Where should I look? Now, if you haven't figured it out, you know, remember where, where it was laying the last time? Or uh, where she was laying the last time? Safe. Where the body was in the first place. Saya Kujo's blood stain is still on the floor. It's obviously dry by this point in time. There might be something lying on top of it. I can't be sure as it's too dark. Nothing was there the last time I was here. Picking it up, I discover that it's a small pouch. Inside is a hard, thin object. I move over to the moonlight to see it better. It's a small Buddha statue. It can't be. Is this a ninja butsu? It seems to be stained with blood, and I get an ominous feeling from it. 
security. It hasn't been exercised yet. I instinctively know the instant I see it. My mind is suddenly flooded with all my memories of the ninji butsu one after another. Fifty years ago, the head of the Kujo family used this to steal Mary's power. He put the ninji butsu inside her to seal her. Then, about a month ago, someone took it out. That person... Because of that, Mary regained her powers. The ninji butsu in my hand looks exactly as it did back then. Old impurity. Impurity that built up from sealing Mary's power for 50 years. To cleanse it, I left the ninji butsu at the uncontaminated H shrine. It would take time to exercise all the impurity. It's already July, and the summer purification ride is over. So why is it so impure? The object the rabbit had in its mouth. It could have been carrying the pouch then instead of the master key. Then the ninja butsu was taken away from the mage shrine before the beginning of July. Maybe the rabbit saw Mary by the shrine and was scared that she would find it. So I had no choice but to steal it away. door to the adjacent room opens. Mary must be looking for me. But she can't sense the presence of Mark's bears. What's going on? Wait, is it possible that Sai's blood is protecting me? Bring the bring it to where I'm at my end. Oh, that's a woman's voice. Never mind. I should be changing the voice by that point. The voice whispers in my ear again. This isn't where the voice owner died. They must have met their ends elsewhere. There's only one other place. While Mary's in the room next door, I sprint down to the entrance hall. I make a beeline to Mary's sofa in the spot where the rabbit died. The voice that spoke to me and helped me every time a spirit was closing in. If Sai was working through, any, uh, working through anything, it must have been that rabbit. Sensing something, I looked down at my hand. The ninja boots' appeared, he's gone. Is this what you've been telling me, Sia? I speak to the fire woman who's guiding me as I struggle without memory. I struggle with them. Put the Ninji boots in the source of the doll's curse. Press it to the bat and black mark. Then the whisper stops. The floorboards creak ominously. I raise my head to the staircase, rising it into the darkness before me. That is supremely creepy, game. Nice job. A dark figure stands on the landing. I found you! Ah! Should do Hal's voice. I can't let you do that, Dave. Duh! The mark scorches me. There's multiple marks this time. My head goes blank. Uh-oh. Mary is coming closer. My body won't listen to me. Duh. Hi, Mary. Ah, Lord Atterdag. Mary closes her hands around my neck. She's, she's trying to kill me. Huh? Question mark, exclamation point. I squeeze the ninja butsu and the fog that's impeding my thoughts lifts. It's still a struggle to think. I, I should be able to move my arm now. Move your big toe. Put the ninja butsu on the source of the curse. I only have one chance. Where should I stick the ninja butsu? Well, I mean, obvious. On, on Mary's, now Mary's arm where the mark is. On her right arm. Because of the picture where it shows Mary, which, uh, when the picture of Mary there, that's where Mark is. I managed to drag my impossibly heavy arm and stick the ninja boots on Mary's right arm. Dun dun dun. She's hiding it. But I'm sure that's where the black mark was. Mark's blew my Mary one after the other. 
They're all the color of blood. It's like the, the curse of those she's killed. Curses. <laughs> Open up and say, ah, motherfucker. Survived. We did it. Mary shatters into dust. Did I really do it? I hesitantly looked down at my right arm. Mark is gone. I did it. I finally did it. I have to say it out loud to convince myself. A victory at the expense of Saya and the Mark Bear's lives. I can't claim it's all over, but... There's no harm being relieved for now. The fog clouding my head clears away. My memories slowly return to me. I look around the dimly lit hall again. I know this mansion well. Because I'm... The clock on the second floor begins chiming wildly like it did 10 years ago. Come on, game, just tell us who he is. Well, I know who he is if you followed all the clues, but, you know, it's kind of a dick mood to wait till, like, the last second to tell us. We're at the end of the game, goddammit. When I make my way to it, it stops. Almost as if it had a will of its own. That's right, this grandfather clock. I think a skilled ancestor of the Kudro family crafted it. That one chisel may have been used to make it. That's right, inside this clock. I open the door and stick my hand inside. My fingers brush something hard. <laughs> That's what she said. Taking it out, I realize it's a voice recorder. I press the play button. It's on. It's a Masamune Kujo. It's a man voice, a voice I know all too well. It's my voice. I decided to leave this record behind, in case something should happen. That doll may dispose of any files or documents. I'm banking on her overlooking a piece of technology. As I listen, I start to remember recording this. I did it right before I received the mark from Mary. Now, where should I begin? Start five years ago, two years after I became the Kujo family head. My sister Sai and I found the doll in a wooden box while sorting the warehouse. The moment I broke the seal and saw her, I could sense something sinister. But it took a while longer to fully understand what she truly is. If only there had been records. My great grandfather who sealed her didn't leave any before his early death. Because of that, his descendants weren't told about the doll. to learn the doll had been loaned to an army lab during the war. A strange old man who lived in an underground shelter told me, and went overseas to try and get more information on the doll. When I got into an accident, Walt Wayne was presumed missing. So Sia became the new family head. I wasn't able to contact her until after she had inherited the title. It wasn't something worth contesting. I explained everything and had her keep up the facade that I was missing. Though the record still stated Masamune Kujo was very much alive, of course. I couldn't have used my passport or license otherwise. Off topic. Sorry. I only just returned to the country last week. Other psychics abroad all agreed it wouldn't be bad to leave the doll be. Ninja boots inside the doll still surprised and suppressed its cursed powers, but I realized it was almost at its limit. If I left it alone, it crumble, then it'd be impossible to suppress the curse's power of the doll. That was worst case scenario. But what was it to be done? What was to be done? The answer I came up with was remove the ninja boots from the doll temporarily. Its impurity would be cleansed after a month storing the pure area. Then I'll place it back in the doll. If I succeed, the doll's power will be sealed for a few more decades. The problem is that one month. I have no idea what kind of curse will be released when the doll's unleashed. I'll do what I can to prevent disasters. My power can't compare to the ninja boots.
Bootsu. Can't guarantee anything. There may be victims again, like the tragedy 50 years ago. But this is a necessary evil. It must be done in order to prevent even more people from falling victim. After this, I disassembled the doll and removed the ninja Bootsu. I pray everything goes according to plan and the worst of evils is avoided. I hope this record is needed. as a loved one who's fallen into the curse. And I'm very sorry. Oh, the irony. The recording ends there. Damn it. I clenched my fists so hard my nails dig into my palms. Yes, the voice on the tape was mine, but I'm furious with it. I don't know that person at all. The Mark has, been, has claimed so many victims over the past month, like the Mark Bears. I even lost my little sister, Saya. Was she just another inevitable victim that the voice spoke of? I... I can't forgive him or it had to be done. It had to be done, right? I mean, otherwise, we went, we finally destroyed her. It had to be done. I'm Voldemort Adderdag, but I'm also Masamune Kujo. Yeah, those are two completely different names for different lands and cultures. I understand why he felt as if he had to do that. It was his fate. The Kujo family are forever linked to that cursed doll. Chapter 5, Candace Soldier, the end. We're not quite done yet, folks. We got the epilogue to deal with. So, strap in your seats for the last little tidbits of information. Two months have passed. The occasional cool breeze signals that summer is almost over. I spent my time putting the case of the mark to rest as best as I can. I put Saya to rest by burying the, burying the rabbit and con contacting the surviving mark bearers. Putting the Buddha statues in places of honor was also one of those tasks. They weren't connected to the mark after all, but I couldn't just leave them there. Besides, the ninja boots who saved me. Y Yusuka, Damon, and Banshee's help, I carried the broken statues out of the shelter. The reason it says those names specifically is because they're three characters that cannot die no matter what happens in the game, so. We returned them to their rightful places. I hope Christy is happy about that. She, she'd been rather worried over them. In the process, I discovered that the Candace soldier was nowhere to be found. Iru's body is also missing. Where'd they go? It remains a mystery. By now, my memory has completely returned. Things didn't quite go as originally planned, but at least the danger has passed. I don't think my decision as Masamune Kujo is wrong, but at times waves of powerlessness and despondency overwhelms me, overwhelm me. When I think of the Mark's, Mark's victims, of Saya and the Mark Bearers, my chest hurts. I want to do something for them as the new head of the Kujo family. About the memories I've regained. I became the Kujo family head seven years ago. I'll admit I was a bit of a recluse. I let the public appearances decide and preferring to stay out of the spotlight. The only photos of me are from small local newspapers. I uncovered Mary by accident in the family's warehouse five years ago. It was a discovery that changed my life. Oh yes. I traveled extensively abroad in order to learn more about Mary. In one country, I got into an accident and fell into a coma for half a year. Even worse, that country proceeded to treat me as an unidentified traveler. I don't know if that was merely my terrible luck or if Mary's curse had something to do with it. When I was finally able to contact home, I had already become the new head. The rest was as the tape said. I had no idea that Mary's power was, so far, was far greater than I imagined. All my efforts to suppress her power were completely useless. Mary is unraveled faster than I thought. How did Mary come to be in the first place? One theory says a doll maker in the 19th century used magic to create her. Another says the spirit of a young girl who died prematurely took up residence in a doll. In the end, it's still a mystery. No one knows what happened to create a doll like that. We only know that each of Mary's owners died tragic deaths. Shortly after the turn of the 20th century, she came to be owned by the head of the Cujos. He either didn't know the curse or simply didn't believe it. Disasters began befalling the family. 
Harry gained enough power to become a sentient and, and to become sentient and produce spirits. Then the tragedy in the shelter happened. The seething grudges of the experiment's victims and the Buddha statues, they may have triggered her awakening. Whatever Mary's true identity is, the fact she remain er uh, the fact remains she altered many people's fates. Mine and the mark bearers included. Speaking of an update on the surviving mark bearers. <laughs> yeah, because surviving because some of them died. Sukasa Yoshida is studying every day for the middle school exams next year. Probably trying to forget the events of that night. It seems he's even more obsessed with studying now. Satori Mashita brought me, bought me a drink like he promised. Seems he's thinking about becoming a private detective. He actually asked me if I wanted to join him. Is he serious? I don't know for sure. Suzu Morimiya was able to see her father. I'm really happy for her, but asking a single guy like me for advice on couples reconciling, reconciling is probably not the wisest idea. Aida, 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 Aida Nakamatsu has gone back to surfing the BBS every day, as usual. What's new is he's been stopping by the city employment center. I guess he wants to get a steady job and be a role model for Suzu. Uh, best of luck to him. Tawaka Yusuka is still working as a fortune teller in Ginza. She also has taken time to help take care of the families of the Mark victims. Oh, that's nice for her. After he helped clear out the statues, Shuji Daemon's condition worsened and he's been ho and he's hospitalized. I think he worked himself too hard. Banshee Ito, Ito gave up on living in that shelter after everything that happened. He still trucks down there occasionally to pray for Hiru. All the mark bearers who became victims, all for the sake of the terror Mary sought. Whenever I remember them, my chest aches and I can't help but think. Is it possible? Do they bear a dark grudge against me for surviving? I'm so sorry. How many times have I remembered that useless and meaningless apology? But I came, became more determined each time. All I can do now is make sure that the tragedy never happens again. For that, I need to hurry up my preparations for putting the Ninji Butsu inside Mary. The Ninji Butsu alone won't be enough to continue sealing your power in the years to come. I must prepare extra, uh, extra spiritual measures. It's taken a long time to get those ready, but today I've finally finished. Did the mansion just lose power? Uh-oh. What's going on? What is this feeling? arm is burning. No! Come on! Why is the mark... What? What's happening? Calm down. I need to calm down. First, I need to get a grasp on my situation. That's how I survived this... familiar noise echoes in the hall. We killed you! We killed you! That's it. That's the end of Spirit Hunter Deathmark, the normal ending of the game, or the bad ending. I don't know why it's called the normal ending because technically it's the bad ending when you think about it, right? Because you let one of the uh, you let one of the uh, um, uh, Mark Hunter. Actually, I think it happens as long as a Mark Hunter dies, you get the normal ending. So if you want the best ending, you have to get you have to they all have to be saved, which is pretty easy to do when you think about it. But that was actually a. Uh, 
I mean, obviously, well, maybe I should wait till I get the good I need to do my my full review of it. But I can talk about other things on. But I'll give my first impressions. Um, I enjoyed this game. Well, game, quote unquote. I enjoyed this visual novel overall because uh, one, it didn't overstay its welcome. It was focused to the point. You know, we only had five chapters, and then the ending. Boom! Quick boom! There goes the stay overstay its welcome. Had an interesting cast of characters that didn't like over exaggerate their their unique qualities about them. You know, the, to the point of annoying. You know, I, I, very good music. I thought the I thought the atmosphere was set very well with the creepiness of the music. You know, the the random stuff popping when you used your flashlight, random things would appear. I thought that was kind of neat, you know, for if you're playing at night, all the spooky atmosphere and all that other stuff. No stupid jump scares, you know, it was all atmospheric. Um, uh, and I actually thought some of the writing was pretty clever. For I mean, not, I mean, it could have been better, I'll admit, but I enjoyed a lot of the writing in it. The main character isn't a stick in the mud for the most part. Um, the gallery has been added to the title screen. You are able to view the game's illustrations. Now we can save it. Or does it auto save like the auto? Okay, it just saves the main file or whatever. Yeah, we'll uh, save the file there. We'll save over. Uh, okay, I just have to remember a certain file. But, uh. But yeah, that's the. That's the end of the game, and then I, I guess it just starts over again or whatever. Um, so, but yeah, that was the normal end of the game. So, but you know what that means, folks? That means we're not quite done with this yet. And I'll do the full review of everything I liked about the game and that. But we still have to save the. We still have to do the right way in another reality, in another time. We have to find the right way to save Hiru, and then and then stop Mary for good. How will we do that? Find out next time as we do the the good ending of Deathmark. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.